Normally, that I did the first one, so I don't really give a shit. <laughs> Ihr alle habt so viel geopfert, um hier zu sein. Um ein Teil von dem zu sein, was wir hier tun. Es ist die erste groß angelegte Kolonisierungsmission überhaupt. Wir schreiben Geschichte. Welcome back to the real Alien franchise. Um, it's the first Alien movie with a real Alien name in it. Um, and with, yeah, up to three sequels in mind. What's your, what's your master plan for that new franchise? Well, the master plan is to get through the next one. I think if this does well, we'll we're already writing the next one. And then I know where it could go after that. There could be an evolution into... I always saw this creature as a um, War of the Worlds kind of character. Um, because of how he was bred, how he was designed, the question was never asked. And so it starts to get answered in Covenant. But then once it's evolved, then it's out of control. So what I want to do is now see it get out of control completely. So it's not controlled by anybody, let alone an AI. Uh, what I've been wondering is what is your relationship with Neil Blomkamp like? Um, there, there's been a lot of rumors circling around that um, he had to scrap his Alien movie, his version of the Alien universe, for you to gain back control of your version. Really? Who said that? Well, Whoa. Not only that, I did the first one, so yeah. I don't really give a shit. <laughs> you know, I really don't care. Excuse me? Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, speaking of creations, um, in how far will androids, I mean, you have a very, you seem to have a love for androids to a certain degree. In how far will androids be the connecting tissue in your uh, new alien franchise universe? Um, speaking of David, yeah. when uh, the human character seems so disposable and short-lived. Uh, well, clearly David's always gonna continue to be one of the leads. And as an AI, can AIs go off the rails? Yes, they can. They already demonstrated in him being off the rails in this one, because when he was asked who wrote Paradise Lost, uh, uh, Ozymandias, he got the answer wrong. It's impossible for an AI to ever be wrong. And for an AI to realize that he was wrong for the moment probably edges on AI madness, right? Can't take it. Um, but I think the AI will be a continuum through the story, definitely. Um, one of the questions that really, I carried it around with me for a very long time, I'm happy I can ask it now, is what's your opinion about all these sequels that you were not involved in, um, the comics, video games, clone replays in Alien 4? Um, have you seen those? Do you consider them canon or utter bullshit? Most, I haven't seen them, so I can't comment. I, I tend not to look at things if I think that gonna be bullshit. What were your ideas for Alien 2? Um, I've read that you had plans, but you were not considered at that time? No, I had um, plans. Ironically, I was gonna call Alien Paradise. And so it was gonna go off somewhere else, but I never got it evolved because no one wanted to go down that direction. Alien sat on a shelf as a successful film without a sequel to come. And I lost interest and I moved on. I mean, like Blade Runner, I lost interest. Once I'd done the film, I moved on. And then oh, it took 20 years for someone to call me up saying, do you think there's a second story in Blade Runner? I said, totally. And what is it? I said, I'll tell you when you pay me. So fundamentally, I got involved in writing the whole Blade Runner sequel that's about to come out in October. Uh, there's a very big logical idea in that, which makes sense for a sequel. And that's what it is. And, you know, ideas are merchandise. Ideas are everything. To get ideas on paper is the hardest single thing to do. For me to make a movie is easy, but for me to actually evolve it into an idea that really makes sense and lands out as a script on a script form, rather than just the usual repetition bullshit, is the hardest thing to do. Get it on paper, that's the hardest thing to do. So I'm very involved in my own developments. 
Yeah, thank you very much you. Um, for having me. Maybe I see you again in October. Good. Great. Bye. Thank you. Who is this?